Hello, my name is Flix. I am Nate. You are you. And as I'm sure you already know, today Blumhouse did their first annual Blumfest. And at the conclusion of things, they dropped a, a second teaser for Halloween Kills, which is the least they could do since we've all been robbed and we're not getting them filmed this year like we were supposed to. But hey, fingers crossed we will be in theaters on opening night uh, in 2021. But for now, hey, we got this to tie this over. We've got a lot of great fan films that have come out recently. And I just want to thank you guys for being here because it's hard when you work a full time job to like get to these things in a timely manner. I know that I've been scooped. I know bigger channels with better resources and that's all they do. They've already put this content out. You've probably already seen it. So I just want to thank you for being here and supporting one of the little guys. But uh, that's that's my piece on that. I just want to be show you guys some gratitude. Let's go ahead and get to the whole reason you're here. Let's react to the second teaser trailer. Uh, I won't talk the first time I play it through and then we'll kind of take it slow and go frame by frame and see every little bit that we can and I'll kind of throw out some hypotheses for you but without further ado let's count it down three two one let's go Damn, damn, all right, so battery kind of went dead on me there for a second, but we are back. All right, now let's go back frame through frame. That was awesome. They packed a ton into that 30 seconds. Uh, so much, so many images pop in so quickly. So we, like I said, we're gonna slow it down. We're gonna take this thing bit by bit. Let's see, let's go ahead and get to where he is bending over to get his mask. That's where things really start popping. All right. All right, so the mask, here we go. We get to see it for the first time. We can see what it looks like after that basement fire. You can see it's got a little char there, maybe a little bit of uh, some melting in some spots, but I think it looks good. Uh, like they did so well with saying true to like the 1978 mask with 2018. Uh, this one, I like the continuity that they are showing the effects of that fire. They're not going to just kind of like glaze over it and act like that wouldn't have any effect on Michael. Uh, I really like this. I like that this is a battle worn mask. And it just looks good. It just looks nice and creepy, good and scary. Let's see, let's play this a little bit quicker. All right. All right, so that kill right there, first of all, it looks awesome. The cinematography is incredible. 2018 was such a beautiful looking film. This one is gonna be the same, but that blood flying through the air is just so cinematic and crisp. But who is this? Do you guys have any ideas on who this guy is? So, I say guy, I guess it could be a woman, but I'm thinking guy, I see some gray hair, it looks like maybe a red scarf, but I can't, from this, this little quick flash, I can't get an idea of who this character is, if this is a, an important character, what his position is, if that is a scarf. I don't know who he is, but he got in Michael's way and we know how that ends. Man, Michael looks great in this shot too. All right, so let's go ahead and speed that up. I'm sorry, anonymous guy, he got dealt with and it looked awesome. All right, so there we got another chase scene. You have to have a good chase scene in a great slasher, especially a Halloween film. You have to have Michael doing that iconic walk. And here's chasing Allison again. And that was, for me, one of the best parts of 2018 was that chase scene, the music in there. That score is just so fantastic uh, for, for that chase. And that's saying a lot for this franchise. When music stands out, a new composition stands out in the Halloween franchise, that's saying something because the score in Halloween is almost a character in itself. That is awesome that Carpenter's still doing it like that in 2018. But uh, yeah, so we got a good chase. All right, so we have returning characters you see here, and they, they do a nice little callback because it's the Nurse Marion Chambers, and just like in 1978, Michael has that hand coming down and smashing the window. So we knew we were going to get a lot of callbacks, lots of Easter eggs. That was a big part of 2018. I think they want to kind of do all those nice, respectful nods to everything that came before these films. Uh, hopefully... You know, they, they do a whole lot of new stuff too. I think they will. I think the plot will be kind of new and fresh. If some of the, the settings and characters are familiar, I think they'll still do enough to invigorate some freshness in this movie. Karen. Hold on, let's back that up. Let's take a look right there at Michael. All right, so you see Lori screaming in the hospital. So that means he's in the hospital. So we're getting a little Halloween 2 action going on. Which I don't think any of us are surprised by that. I think we were expecting that, but let's see. I'm trying to get this so that I can see. Here we go. There we go. All right, yeah, so this Michael, that is a much more 
distinct look than the one from 2018 with that char on the mask that he looks badass and just that blank slate of the mask just works so well for Michael Myers I think that's why he's one of the most beloved characters they just got so lucky with that William Shatner mask and now this nice little like two-faced kind of action this burn on the side he looks awesome especially bathed in the darkness here I love this then we have Mr. Doyle here Okay, and yes, he's out in front of Mixed Bar, so I'm saying another call back to Halloween 4. Looks like he's got a little mob with him, some outraged Haddonfielders. Uh, so I, I love Halloween 4. This seems like a callback. I don't think it's going to be anything too blatant or, you know, too in your face. But I think it's a nice callback. It makes sense that this town would react that way. That if he's chosen to live in Haddonfield, he obviously loves the town. He obviously would be traumatized by the events of 1978. So it makes sense that he's going to be like, hell no, not Michael. Not this time. Uh, I'm going to stand up for my town. Let's all get together and come after this guy. Want somebody getting dealt with? Halloween kills. All right, guys. So, you know, hey. A lot of stuff that you could have to conjecture for. Um, a lot of great images. I, the movie just looks great. The cinematography is awesome. I love the style of it. Michael looks fantastic. This is one of the best Michael designs we've ever had in the franchise. Um, and I can't wait to see what they're going to do here. So he's picking up his burnt mask. So how do we think he got out of the basement? Uh, I'm thinking paramedics, they, they respond to the fire, firefighters, you know, they try to put it out and Michael kills one of them. And, but why would he be picking his mask up off the ground here? Maybe they do a Halloween 4 to where they've taken the mask off of him to try to resuscitate him or to work on him. And they drop the mask and then he kills them a la Halloween 4 in the opening where he kills the paramedics. Maybe they do that. Or maybe he's on the old bait and switch like H2O and somebody's dropped his mask outside. He's killed one of the first responders and he's walking around in their attire and now he's picking the mask up. Maybe that's how he gets into the hospital. Hard to say. Uh, those are my ideas. Go ahead and comment yours below. Go ahead and comment. Like, do you see the Halloween 4 thing that I'm talking about with Tommy Doyle? I, I think that's really what they're going for here. This, this is awesome. This old guy getting his head. Michael grabbed him through the window. I don't know, I think this one's going to be vicious. That's what they, they promised, that it's going to be bigger, badder, and meaner. Uh, today, David Gordon Green, he said that this is going to be their Return of the Jedi, which is a bold claim. That's him putting his balls on the table. And hey, I have to believe they're going to deliver. I like what I've seen so far. I get goosebumps when I watch these things. I cannot wait for Halloween Kills. Go ahead and comment below what you think of the original trailer and this teaser. Uh, guys, I can't wait. I wish it was 2021 already, as we all do. But uh, hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Other than that, you have a fantastic day. I'm Nate for Nate Netflix saying that's a wrap.